Speaking of starting, let's start. Go. going on now oh that was something see the, what all right look let's talk about this and then that eight hundred thousand pro chairs pro-choice demonstrators yesterday rallied in washington largest march on washington ever here's a look at it what do we want free choice what do we want it? Yeah. keep your laws off my body we will not be silenced and we will go. This whole government's got to go and go now. This is what life was like before choice. Oh, such a nice day. I think I'll go have an abortion. <laughs> well, I wonder what Morgan Freeman would say about that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, all the movies uh, together. Look right, it, go uh, ahead. Uh, abortion, is, uh, abortion, abortion aside, are women boring? <laughs> But wow. what, I didn't like Whoopi going to the we, we want it. Oh. They got nothing else to do. They got nothing else to do. All of a sudden, we're worried about a fetus. What the hell is a fetus? I got trouble working on a path. I cried out loud. What is a fetus? First of all, what if they go to work and shut up? Next thing they're going to say, we don't want tattoos. We don't want tattoos. We don't want this. Here. That's what they're going to get. No, no. You don't have a fetus tattoo. Lynn, as a woman, what do you think about this? Well, you know what? I, I am pro-choice, but I have a problem with them actually saying, if you, if you listen to the rest of the tape, they actually want the government to pay for it. Uh. And I have a problem with that. You know, if you get in trouble, you should scrounge the money from your friends, like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the cost of doing business. I mean, listen, marriage is legal, too. You know, Congress didn't pay for my wedding. You know, come on. Right. You're right. When did we want it? Oh. They, Frankie, what about you? Oh, you, you well, I was looking at the photo and I could have swore I saw Monica Lewinsky's hat in there somewhere. Well, it was in D.C. She might have been <laughs> around in there somewhere. I know. It's about love, man. Don't you, you know, don't you love the kid, I guess? The kid's going to be born. You've got to think of the kid, right? You know? What? When did a fetus <laughs> become a kid? The minute they got in there. The minute they got in there. The fetus is a person. It's the ass is a person. Why? That's better than the fetus. The ass? I don't like the fetus. I'm sick of the fetus. I'm sick of the fetus. Stop being the fetus. I'm sick of the damn fetus. Stop being the 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 fetus. <laughs> All right. All right, listen to me. Is that what you want? We're going oh, to move on. We're going to move on to this. All right. Spellman. Well, I mean, hey, let's face no, it. Hey. You got to go to the instincts when I see people cut uh. Spellman, a black woman's college, is feeling more house than black men's college over the image of black women in rap videos. Here's a look at one of Mystical's works. One more, one more time. One more time for Patrice. That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, disrespect the women. Okay. <laughs> Subjugate those hoes. <laughs> now that's a great fetus. <laughs> there you go. Oh. So, so what do you think about this? You don't think about nothing, Scotty. <laughs> All I was doing is Listen to me. I never got licked like that. <laughs> I don't understand it. Where the hell am I coming from? These girls are gorgeous. They got to make a living. All of a sudden, some pain in the ass comes out. They go, we shouldn't do that. I want more of that. <laughs> right. Damn right. I want more licking. You got plenty of credit cards, too. <laughs> why, why do all women try to have Careful dignity? Now. What about Careful. what about women who ain't or useless? And that's all they got, titties and ass. What they going to do? There's nothing left but right. be hoes. Right. Don't take that away, right. home. It's always the ugly one. They go on fear factor. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually you know the what? humanitarian point of view. You Leah, know, what do you think? It's actually, not, it's actually not all women, honey. I actually agree with the guys at Morehouse. These women are grown. They're doing what they want. Leave the hoes alone. Let them make a 
living. That's right. That's right. Because right. you know what? You know what? I will tell you right now, these women make me feel safe, okay? Because they're there. Nobody's going to kidnap me make me dance in a rap video. So I'm very happy. <laughs> Oh, folks, the latest cause of divorce in Britain is men who take too much Viagra. What was the cause of the biggest breakup you ever had? Pat Cooper. I need Julie Roberts. I don't need Viagra. That's who I need. My biggest breakup was, you know, before I got married, I was single. Everything was going good. I was canoodling. I was carrying in. I'd go do whatever I wanted. Then I got married. That was the breakup when I got married. <laughs> and I'll right, say that again. Leanne. Leanne. I um actually the cause of my biggest breakup was when he asked me to wear low rise jeans and dance in his rap video. <laughs> <laughs> actually, honestly, my biggest breakup was my fault. I mean, I'm one of those silly women who has standards. <laughs> I mean, I like smart, sane, and above all, good hygiene. I mean, if a man's body odor is strong enough to reach out and smack me in the face, I think that should be considered domestic violence, don't y'all? <laughs> all right. Good point, Frankie. Well, for me, it was all about height differentials. I mean, when I was younger and I was in my super horny mood, I once went out with a six foot four stewardess. You know, she was beautiful. I mean, we made love and uh, we have to put little runway lights on her thighs. That's how good it was. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you, when you get romantic like that, she's always saying crazy things like, you know, when you're coming in for a landing, keep your flaps up. And even though the sex was great, we had a breakup because, well, being, I could never see eye to eye with her, she soon realized I wasn't falling in love with her hooters. So. All right. Patrice O'Neill. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be somewhere yelling at Locker? Locker? <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito. I'm f around. Um, <clears throat> Look, I've never had a worse breakup. They all th the same thing. <laughs> Women try to force themselves on me, and I get very frightened. <laughs> forcing me to call, forcing me to listen when they call, forcing me to watch the dub shit they want to watch on television, <laughs> forcing me to take them out, forcing me to wear what they think I look cute in, forcing me to play Xbox with them when they're not even interested in the game. They get pissed away. <laughs> forcing me to... Forcing me to cuddle afterwards, even in the summer, is hot, bitch. I still love you. Look it. <laughs> Look it, man. Ladies, if you want to know how to make your man happy, just think about what makes you happy and do exactly the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show, everybody. Come on. Whoa.